all right my people welcome back onto this channel this is another one reaching us onto this one says nigeria risk another civil war if tinumbu is not sworn in jimo ibrahim writes un cancel and then orders all right my people the news in details onto this oil magnate jimo ibrahim has raised the alarm of another civil war in the country p r nigeria according to him nigeria will be consumed by a bloody civil war if ashua jubola met tinumbu the president-elect is not inaugurated on may 29 to succeed president muhammadu buhari is worse i quote a constitutional breach sounds incredibly anarchical if president-elect Bola Tinumbu is not sworn in on May 29, 2023. Ibrahim, a, a senator-elect to represent Undo State in the 10th Senate, gave the warning in a security memo he wrote to some foreign organizations on Monday. The oil magnate memo, PR Nigeria gathered, was shared with the United Nations Security Council and then the intelligence services of the United States, United Kingdom, and then China. In his memo titled Stop Tinumbu and then Prepare for the Third World War, Ibrahim observed that converging complexity events in the country are threatening domestic peace. He, however, warned that except the government does the needful, genocide may travel across Nigeria's borders. While calling on the UN Security Council and the UK, US, and China intelligence services to act fast, the Undo senator elect maintained that Nigeria cannot afford another civil war to which some uncivilized elements are dragging her. He said, I quote, May 29, 2023, the inauguration of President-elect Bola Tinumbu is an incredible advancement of democracy in a developing country. It is inevitable our destiny with a collaborative geocentric world to order international peace and security. Even the face of the realist power currency, it is not negotiable and the simple alternative to the perpetual peaceful inauguration is a third world war, God forbid. The total peace of humanity is the reason for our sacrifices in the last three years of our convergence. It is left for me to sound a warning for the historical trajectory that the First World War was triggered by the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, Hung Hungary, Hungary, just one individual. Again, these are the consequences of alliance, imperialism, militarism, and then nationalism. It is also not the case that we forgot the event of the blank check assurance conspired plans of Germany and then Austria, Hungary, and the Germany millenarianism spirit of 1914. In any event, and then as war experts, we will remember Athens and then Sparta of the Peloponnesian War, the precarious peace of Nicias, or the Battle of Mantinia in 418 BC. All right, and then this is exactly what is reaching us. Nigeria risks another civil war if Tinumbu is not sworn in. Jimo Ibrahim writes, UN Council and others. Well, my brother, my sister, <laughs> this is so serious. This is not funny at all. Well, there's been a lot of reactions, though. The fact now remains that who exactly is going to become 
the president of Nigeria. Yes, May 29, the inauguration of Bola Metinumbu as the president-elect. Let's see how it's going to play out. Well, on to this one anonymous person says civil war in his village because he has virtually enslaved everyone in his village with his money and he is afraid that they will soon revolt against him. He is definitely one of the people that reigned Nigeria economy and they still want to maintain the status. Hmm. Well, that is serious. The war will be between Yoruba and Aousa Fulani. Hmm. Old fools everywhere. All right, so Jimo should be arrested immediately for drumming for war. He is, he is threatening the unity of Nigeria. And uh, meanwhile, instead of you to listen and uh, find way out, you are there abused, abusing and uh, running them out. Okay, war, call, war, knee. You are a noise maker. <laughs> All right, my brother, my sister, what do you think about this? Well, majority of people have been like, don't mind him. He's a supporter of Bola Med Tinumbu. He is just looking for a way to you know to get his you no know, his own cake, his own portion of the national cake. But right now, the fact now remains that is there going to be any kind of you no know, war, if at all this happens well right now a lot of people have been like the country found itself where it is it is because the people in position of power deliberately made everything not to work all right that's another serious one that this set of people in power they are the they are actually the cause of everything they actually made everything not to work so that you no know, they will be able to manipulate others but god is in his Infinite mercy will continue to you no know, help the masses. Right now, we are all you no. Know, I think we are all trying to make sure things will work for us. Because now, as far as this country is concerned, everyone is tired. This has been overflogged. We are seeing the handwriting on the wall. Even people are, and I'm like, oh, why are they even, you no, know, born? Why were they even born in this country, Nigeria? I've heard a lot of people say that. Majority of people are abroad right now. Nigerians are abroad are like, God forbid, what are they coming to do in that country, Nigeria? I've seen a lot of people talking about the fact that until Yoruba nation is actualized, until Biafra is actualized, they are not coming back to that country. God forbid. Well, according to Uka Chuku says, well, this is a treasonable offense. So DSS, over to you. Someone that stole a mandate want to tear the country apart. Enough of this nonsense of DSS chasing the wrong person. See one now. Okay. <laughs> That's so serious. Yes, yeah, so the situation to which we have found ourselves right now is a situation whereby majority of people are even tired of how long are we going to continue like this that's exactly what we are talking about how long are we going to continue like this and then somebody has actually made it clear that Jimo should be arrested immediately for drumming for war because he is threatening the unity of nigeria well somebody is asking the question where is the unity is there unity in this country? If there is unity, then innocent souls will not be dying on a daily basis. Anyhow, this is so strong. Well, my people, this is exactly what it is right now. On to this one, what more can we say? Me, well, let me have your own take on this and remember to subscribe for more updates. If you are new on this channel, all right, thanks and God bless.